this video, I'm gonna talk about why ending a toxic relationship is absolutely essential for your growth. In fact, if you stay in it, you're not growing. You're doing the worst, you're withering. And the guys stay in this place of this, and they just sit there in this place because they don't wanna make the wrong move. They're always worried they're gonna make the wrong fucking move. I'm gonna regret the decision. It's like, you're not gonna regret the decision, bro, but it's like you can't tell him this because he thinks that he'll make an irreversible decision because he's still hung up on this concept of the one. Brother, you are not with the one. How do I know that? Because soulmates are not found, they are created. And if you're in a toxic relationship, you are dealing with somebody who doesn't have the foundation to create soulmate material. You have to be with somebody who is, has soulmate fundamental material before you can move forward. And so this video is gonna talk about if you're in a toxic relationship and if you need to move forward quickly. My name is Ed Baxter and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betrayed Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. Toxic relationships always have the undertone of manipulation. And we know this because that's what defines them as being toxic. They bring out the worst in both of you. And the reason it brings out the worst in both of you because one person is taking advantage of the other and the other person is hoping to get back to a better time. If you really want to know if you're in a toxic relationship, and it might not even be toxic, maybe you're just in this relationship where you're questioning it, just realize that's all you need. I'm not so sure I should be in this relationship. If you keep having this conversation with yourself week after week, I'm not so sure I should be with this relationship. You're in the wrong relationship. And I know this because I've seen this thousands of times. In fact, this can be one of the biggest traps men have where they'll sit in this place like, I don't know, should I make this work? I don't know, should I make this work? I don't know, should I make this work? And he sits in this place for fucking months or years. I also know this because I did this twice. I did it with the first girlfriend I had in college. I sat there at seven months, taking care of her, doing all these things for her because she was a perpetual victim. I was like, well, if she could just get over her stuff, if I just gave to her enough, if I just did enough, she'd finally be this powerful, beautiful person. It's not my place to do it. And I found out that it wasn't my place and I was just being an emotional crutch for her. And then the second time was in my first marriage when I was sitting here trying to be everything this woman wanted and it was never enough. And because nothing was ever enough, I kept, kept being caught in this place where I kept giving and giving and giving, trying to get back to a, get to us to a better place. And so if you're in this place where you're waking up day after day, like, I don't know if I wanna be here. I'm not so sure if this is gonna work. It's not gonna work and you shouldn't be there. You have my permission right now to break it off with her. Why? Because if you're with the right woman, that question doesn't even come up. It doesn't even come up. How do I know this? Because I've dated a lot and I'm with the perfect woman for me right now. And that question never fucking came up and it still doesn't come up and it probably never will because she's got good fundamental material for creating soulmate. And I have created soulmate with her. And so you have to look at this. Just because you're with this woman doesn't mean you won't find somebody else. You're just with this person to learn some lessons so that you can actually create the relationship you need to. You have to have good foundational material. If the person's not ready to rise with you, then you shouldn't be in this relationship. And maybe the lesson for you is learning to say no, learning to walk away, learning to value yourself to the point where you're like, I'm not putting up with this shit. I'm fucking moving on. i be with somebody who deserves me, somebody who values me. And you might say, well, who's gonna value me? That's the problem. You have to decide that first. Nobody's gonna give that to you. You have to decide it. Once you've decided that you matter, and this is a powerful statement, this is a power frame. You have to decide you matter. God's not gonna tell you, your mom's not gonna tell you, your dad's not gonna tell you, your boss isn't gonna tell you, and your wife's certainly not gonna fucking tell you. So the only person that's gonna matter on your value is you. If you can't matter to yourself, it's not gonna matter anywhere else. Your value is one of these things called a power frame. You have to seize it for yourself. If you want power, you have to seize it. And this is the same in any domain in your life. Power is seized. It is not bestowed upon except by those who can also take it away. And once you do this, you will not fear letting her go anymore. Why? Because this thing, this hook that she's got in you is no longer there. The hook is, I'm afraid of making a mistake. I'm afraid of letting her go. I'm afraid of being alone. I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. And when you have your own value, you're not afraid anymore. Why? Because you know you can go get it again. Let's look at it this way. You found this woman, which means you're gonna find another one. You've already proven that you can do it, so what are you afraid of? You don't think you can do it again? Data proves otherwise. You actually did it, so you can do it again. In fact, you'll probably do a better job next time because of all the things you learned this time. Now, once you consider there's a real cost to staying in this kind of relationship. 
People don't think about the cost of inaction. The cost of inaction is usually much greater than the cost of action. Like, well, if I don't do anything, it's not that big a deal. No, motherfucker. Time is nails in the coffin. Every week, every day, every month you stay with this person is a day, week, month that you could be going out there finding somebody better or working on yourself. But you can't work on yourself if you're in a toxic relationship because everything is about them. Everything is about drama. Everything is about everything you shouldn't be focusing on. This is the thing. The more time you spend here is the less time you have moving forward. There's a cost, there's a compounding interest cost to this bullshit. In one year, I can take you from a guy who can't hardly get fucking laid in a toxic relationship with a wife who doesn't want, to, doesn't want anything to do with him, and in a year, I can transform you into a complete soul seducer who has his soulmate. I can do that in 12 months. A guy who is nerdy as fuck. Man, I was nerdy as hell. I couldn't pull women for the life of me in high school and college. Man, there's some pictures out there. Shows what I was like. Now I have no issues with this. In fact, I've created my soulmate dream relationship with my woman. And I can do that. I do this with guys all the fucking time. At this point, it's not even a, a matter of can I do it. It's just I do it. And you can do this too. You don't have to be in this place. You can turn this shit around fast. And I highly recommend not going it alone. Because you're gonna go through and you're gonna question yourself. Like, am I doing this right? I don't know, I'm just watching this video online. Is this the right thing? I don't really have any feedback. Did I say the right thing? Am I doing the right? You need a support system. You need other guys like you going through this situation to help push you forward. To show you that all the nuance, all the little things are okay. And you can do that. You can find that in the Broken to Badass program. There's a link in the description below if you are in this kind of situation. You've got to get out of a toxic relationship. You're having this question of do I stay or do I go? We'll get you through this. Within 10 days, on average, you'll be out of the pit of this. You'll have made a decision. You'll know exactly what you should do. But more importantly, you'll feel good and you'll feel confident. You'll feel safe in that decision. I can't tell you how many guys come through the program and then they just make a decision. And like, oh, I feel so much relief. Like, well, what did you do? Well, I broke up with my wife. And I'm like, you feel relief from that? He's like, yes. Or he's like, now I see what's going on with her. Most of the problems are with me and that if I just solve these problems, then our relationship will work. Man, I feel so relieved just seeing that. And that information is incredibly freeing. And you need to have this kind of community. You need to have this kind of support network. You should not be trying to do this alone any more than you should try to give yourself open heart surgery. It's just you're not going to do it. You're too close to it. You got, it inflicts too much pain within yourself to, be, to actually surgically do this yourself. You need other people around you to help you. You need experts. This is not one of those situations you should feel embarrassed about. In fact, you should think that this is a good move. And it is a good move. Because you can get this turned around in just a couple of weeks. You can be secret about it. Nobody even has to fucking know you're doing this. You can take all the credit. You just come in. A couple of months later, you're already rocking and rolling with the kind of women you want in your life, the kind of power you want in your life, and your wife is actually nice and humble and, and wants to follow your direction and wants you sexually. She desires you. And I think for most men, they just want a woman who desires them, is devoted to them, and actually appreciates them. And these are the three things that most guys are really looking for. Appreciation, devotion, and desire. And that's what you want. And if you're not getting it in your relationship, there's a reason for it. You know, toxic relationships, and really any kind of drama or manipulation or relationship really just come down to just not tolerating bullshit anymore. In fact, I encourage men to have a zero tolerance to bullshit. Absolute zero. No manipulation, no bad tone of voice, no name calling, no flirting, none of that shit. There's no place in a relationship. If you want to be single and flirt around and have an open marriage where you're dating a lot of people, sure, that's fine. But when you're in a committed relationship with somebody, these are the rules. And people like to play around with it and try to get away with shit. The thing is, is that don't let women get away with shit in your life. Hold them accountable. Most guys do not hold women accountable because the woman plays the victim card and he's like, oh, well, I guess she's got these problems and it gives her the benefit of the doubt and all this dumb shit happens. No, you holding your wife accountable to her own standards and the standards of the kind of relationship you want is essential for moving forward in leadership as a man. Think about it. If you can't do this with her, how are you going to lead your children? If you can't do this with her, how are you going to make sure she doesn't undermine your authority with the children? You won't, and she will. And if you are in a toxic relationship and you're not sure what to do, just realize there's some form of your leadership that's severely lacking. And it could just be you leading yourself that's lacking. You leading yourself into a place that you know you can go. Being powerful in yourself and making commitment to yourself because you give a fuck about yourself. 
Guys who stay in toxic relationships don't care about themselves. They care about trying to make this person love them. And if you're this guy trying to make this woman love you, you're needy, you're insecure, and she will never love you because she sees you as weak. And because she sees you as weak, she cannot find you attractive. And she cannot find you attractive. She does not want to have sex with you. That's just how it is. Just like if your woman is completely physically unattractive and she's doing all this gross stuff, you don't want to have sex with her. It's nature. And you need to honor your biology. You need to honor your power as a man. If you need help learning to let someone go and moving on as fast as possible, check out this video here. If you want other people to see this video, hit the like button. This will make it appear in other people's feeds. And if you want to see more video like this yourself, then hit the subscribe button below.